Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel technology and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a bootable Windows 7 pen drive or flash drive using Windows PowerShell. So you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's start the video. So at first you need to insert one pen drive on your computer which I have already inserted on my computer as you can see here is my pen drive uh, which is 15 GB and now what I have to do is I have to open PowerShell on my computer just to go to the start menu and after that type here PowerShell and after that you have to right click over there on Windows PowerShell and click on run as administrator. So if you will not uh, run as administrator on powershell then it will not work so uh, now what i have to do is i have to i have already copy all the command on my notepad so i will give you all this command on my video description so don't worry with that so first you need to copy this first uh, first command uh, and just right click over there and click on enter So as you can see here is my pen drive so if you have a two pen drive or three pen drive it will showing over there so just select your pen drive and after that click on ok. So now don't need to do anything just hold on it will format your pen drive automatically. So as you can see the pen drive is formatted, uh, here is my pen drive. So now what I have to do, I need to copy this second command. So remember one thing, you need to change its path, okay. So for that uh, I have already insert, uh, I have already copy one Windows 7 ISO file on my iDrive. So here is my iDrive and as you can see one Windows ISO file is over there. So you have to copy your ISO image, uh, any location after that, you have to put that location over there. So under I drive, I have put it Windows 7 ISO. So I have uh, I have written there. So now I have to copy and just right click over there. It's done. So now I have to uh, put the last command over there. Just copy and the last command. And then here you need to click on enter. So after that, it will take some time. So you have to wait for a few minutes. Jack it up. So after done, you will get all your files on your pen drive. So just go to your uh, my computer and after that, go to your pen drive under pen drive USB drive, which is in my case it is E. So just go to under E and after that you will get all your files so i hope this video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments below i will see you guys in the next one take care